Uh, hello there. Uh, tonight I wanted to discuss one of uh, the very difficult challenges that I have to go through, and that is proving and getting recognition for proving the fact that uh, my life events are almost choreographed. It can couldn't possibly to 100%, obviously. Um, however, there are things that do not happen. More so do not happen than happen. Uh, my life is fairly mundane, really. I make my own excitement. I know there are a lot of strict rules around me. And... Everybody I meet or talk to follows those strict rules. And I don't think it's out of fear. Although that probably plays a factor, but I don't think it's the predominant factor. I think it's an authoritarian system that relies on um, people's ignorance and... For those who are a little more intellectually capable, um, they're usually a bit wiser. And, you know, who am I to them? Fair enough. But uh, this I know because life happens. It happens for everyone. There's no such thing as it not happening. You can't be, you know, a robotic... Auto automaton uh, continually doing the same thing over and over again and having it be 100% the same uh, unless you're locked in a facility and you know theoretically I'm not locked in a facility but you know uh, I do have my physical discomfort which you know keeps me relatively set in one place and you know other factors as well I, <laughs> I accumulated personal debt and i have to uh, make money uh, as much and as often as i can uh, with my workplace so that's also a factor it's just strange because uh i work in the public domain and um there never is an opportunity to socialize with the fairer sex and to be fair, the last month or so, I've been in a grouchy mood. Uh, like, I'm not a mean-spirited person. I've said that before. And, um, you know, I'm actually not that bad-looking a guy, uh, despite what some asshole on the internet would say. And, you know, that is high-level strict rules. Uh, which I, you know, uh, have a bone to pick with. I don't happen to like the way how my life is being managed. I don't like being left in the dark about things. I don't like people making decisions for me without telling me and do their best to avoid me even having any, any semblance of knowing what's going on. And... If there are strict rules and they are being followed, then that means some big time authority figures are overseeing uh, my personal care. Or treatment would be a better word. If they cared, they wouldn't be so abusive about it. Uh, you know, I went to San Francisco uh, a couple years back, and when I went to Alcatraz, uh, there was an audio tour. It's, you know, it's an interesting place to go to. Um, anyway, one of the complaints the, um, the prisoners had was that every day felt like it was the same. It always felt the same, and they like it to always be the same. And for me, I see two courses of action. Well, for starters, they want to silence me. They're tired of me talking. They're tired of me making YouTube videos. They're tired of um, me wanting to, uh, you know, live my life the way I want to live it. They want me to do what they say. 
because they are authoritarian, fascist, uh, communist, whatever you want to call it. They're assholes. That's the bottom line. And, I mean, it doesn't matter how long it takes. I prefer it wouldn't, you know, drag on forever. But uh, there is a point where it's going to become clear to them that I'm never going to change my mind about certain things. And I hate people who premeditate. I hate people who plan things out. Um, they think they're being clever and smart, but they're really just being irritating and uh, controlling. And I don't trust that, you know, there won't be social situations where it really feels like it, everything about it is choreographed from, you know, them interacting with me. Um, however, they do have other ways of doing it. The best actors are the ones who, you know, they play themselves and they don't know anything. They're dropped in a position where um, they're being themselves and they don't even know they're part of the, um, the uh, manufactured scenario. I've run into people and I go... These people aren't smart enough to uh, to uh, be plants. Well, I have made videos about plants before, you know. People who are specifically put there and then, you know, they're there to spread the information that uh, the uh, people who are watching um, want uh, want to know. And I've said that plants sometimes don't even know that they're plants. Um, this is very true. And the thing about a uh, intellectually incapable plant, one that doesn't even know that they're a plant, is their behavior is predictable too. And the things that get on their nerves or the things that put them off or the things, you know, other circumstances where they leave the scenario are easily uh, predictable uh, by any overseeing um, faction. And the thing is, everyone in this day and age, and I mean everyone, at some point or another uses the internet, goes to public schools, uh, and has a driver's license, a social insurance number, credit card, car mortgage uh, or car loan I should say they all they, there's some form of paperwork and you know job history and all that kind of stuff so you know it's fairly easy for <laughs> they're like the Stasi uh, they're watching everyone all the time and it's not terribly difficult to predict one's behavioral patterns um, so yeah for me, I've been noticing that the people, they drop off because they want to create the illusion that, you know, it's a free-flowing world for me. I'm simply an introvert. That's what the problem is. I don't know how to talk to women, so I always scare them away because I'm creepy. That's the real reason I can't score a chick, and that is undoubtedly the first thing that someone's going to say to me when they show up as a plant, and this will be someone a little bit more intelligent. Because I've run into stupid plants plenty of times and, you know, like with women, if they're a stupid plant, then it doesn't take them much to have them be put off from a guy if they like them. Uh, it could be, you know, simply that um, they're placed somewhere else by uh, an authority figure or it seems like the grass is greener on the other side or they could do personal attacks against me. And, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not difficult to do that to people because people are, they, they have the problem of not being able to create new ideas for themselves. So everything they know or say, they solve for themselves. No one knows how to speak English when they're born. And uh, there's certain scenarios that you could not possibly comprehend for existing if you didn't have the building blocks 
to understand them, at very least, if not full-on instructed about it. That's simply how things work. And in lieu of that, and the fact that most people are on the internet, behavioral patterns are extremely predictable. And then it's easier to institute a strict set of rules from higher up above and the lower down you go the less you know until you know nothing and you may get put somewhere um, simply by circumstance and anyone around me I've either known them a long time or it's not free flowing um, you know as I said I work in the public domain and uh, there are a few characters I've seen uh, a few times However, it's always, obviously, it's always strictly business because I'm at my workplace. Um, but never is a, someone I repeatedly see be an attractive woman. Never. Never is it an attractive woman. Why is that? Why is that? Because word gets around town. Po uh, uh, authority figures are saying I'm a creep on this, on that. And, you know, um, obviously, uh, could shave the beard, get a haircut, lose some weight, um, and perhaps I wouldn't appear as the image that they've created and then exaggerated of uh, them telling people that I'm a creep. But how do they keep all the wheels turning the exact same frequency. How do they do that in the public domain? How is that possible? You know, like, I don't have delusions of grandeur. But I've heard, you know, through the grapevine, the kind of insults and threats towards my well-being. And, um, you know, I'm very cognizant of it. I mean, we live in a small city, a small metropolitan area. And, um, you know, there's no way with some of the things that have gone on, going on and all that, that I've been left alone by these authority figures. And it's really all in my head. And, you know, any problems I have with social circumstance are strictly my fault. Bullshit. You're fucking lying. And you can keep to this lie all you want, but, um... You know, it is still a lie. You know it's a lie. And when I say you, I mean people probably watching this YouTube channel. Guaranteed somebody's watching it. There's no doubt about that. And when it says, oh, it's only got two or three views, shut up with your fucking lying. I'll just assume it's 100 views. And that's actually rather a lot. People don't understand that when they make YouTube videos. They go, oh, this isn't a viral sensation. It didn't get three million views. A uh, hundred people watching your YouTube channel or your particular video is plenty. Especially if they don't like you and they know social mechanisms to make your life more difficult. And, uh, you know, obviously I have to set personal goals for myself. I'm going to go... Right, I'm going to go do something different uh, instead of, you know, retiring home after a hard day's work and, well, drinking alcohol. Speaking of which, you don't mind, do you guys? <sighs> yeah. That would make me um, able to pursue other avenues and perhaps other opportunities but I'm convinced um, the strict rules will be set upon there as well it doesn't matter where I go to I could join a film club or something like that and as soon as I do I'll either be ousted or um, there'll be strict rules there as well and uh, people will learn and I know all this sounds like a grandiose uh, delusions but uh, you know depending on uh, you know the how advanced uh, psychology is it's not impossible I don't 
have the full grasp of how they could possibly do that um, without spending a lot of money, that is. Um, I suspect uh, intimidation, uh, using um, people's ignorance against them, and uh, just a typical very creepy behavior from uh, the people who are most certainly stalking my social media and myself. Uh, because like Alcatraz, a lot of things don't seem to happen. Life doesn't seem to flow normally. It hasn't for a long time. And I've known that. I know that. I mean, it's true. Nothing's stopping me from going, I'm going to go this direction today. I'm going to go that direction the next day. I'm going to, you know, uh, see how life is different from uh, other perspectives by doing different things. When I have the time and I'm out of personal debt, that won't be a problem. But uh, this black cloud will follow. Guaranteed. And it'll know where I'm going and how I get there. And you may go, well, how is it going to know that? My only means of transportation is the bus system. Or, you know, theoretically a taxi if I want to pay an arm and a leg to go somewhere a great distance. But, you know, you can track somebody quite easily by their uh, bus transactions. Or even if they have their cell phone on them. So you go, well, if you're that paranoid, why don't you leave your cell phone at home? Well, I could do that, but uh, there's an eye in the sky. And it may very well be looking at me. And, you know, uh, people are quite good at hiding behind bushes and being far enough away that you can't see them. And they know things like, I don't have great vision. My eyesight is not very good, even with glasses. So, something happening half a block away, probably not going to see, I'm not going to notice. Uh, my hearing, though, is exceptional. Um, you know, I listen to my music... Not particularly loud. I take good care of my ears, but uh, I will say that um, my vision is is not very good. So you know, um, can't see exactly uh, see the forest or the tree from the forest, or however that saying goes. Oh yeah, it's from the trees. So you can't see the forest. That's right. I mean, you know you're in one, but it's not quite the same. And um, this governing body that overlooks me, they look at all the other horrible things in the world. I don't look at that stuff because it's, it's I know it exists, but it's like, that's not my thing. I'm not interested in that. They do. So when they look at a guy like me, they go, oh, he doesn't have it so bad. He look at his gut. Uh, hockey jerseys he's uh, you know got a stable job he's this that and the other and we need him for our sociological experiment and to see how the medications are working on this individual and that makes me feel like i'm being used i don't like being feeling like i'm being used and like i said before they're fed up with me going about things the way I want to do it. They want to tell me how to think. But if you tell someone how you want them to think, odds are they're not going to think that and they're going to be prepared for it. So they don't do it that way. They do it indirectly by creating circumstances. And, like, I could show you my YouTube news feed. And I'm getting stuff showing up on there that I didn't go looking for. It wasn't random before because before it wouldn't have so many variations to it. It would have the same sort of themes and you would refresh it and it'd be the same sort of themes. But since I exited Facebook, I exited Pornhub, um, I don't use them anymore for uh, any reason. You know, they needed a way to communicate with me, to send messages. And I know people are going to go, well, that sounds real paranoid to you, doesn't it? Well, no, it isn't, man. It's really not that difficult for them to do on the opposite side of the server. 
I mean, they control the internet. It is their internet. And if they silence everyone around me through whatever means, that would be the only source of information that I would get. They would have variations to it. And don't get me wrong, I don't want the humdrum, boring, everyday, it's the same kind of existence, but uh, there's a reason things aren't getting better. And it's not good reasons. And it's not my fault. And uh, I think uh, my earlier plan of uh, this great controversy over the... Uh, the Starscream character and the symbolism, the metaphors, the char the characters, uh, and what that actually means, that, that name, that title. It means people who have a lot of money or a lot of power or are in the public spotlight can see me. Um... Obviously, there are things I'm not going to do to uh, warrant their attention. I mean, there are, uh, there are plenty of people who would, uh, you know, go with the flow of what mainstream society wants out of them in order to gain popularity and possibly fame. Uh, I will not do that because I don't like mainstream society. Mainstream society is sucks. Everything about it is just fucking awful and not cool in the slightest. I don't give a damn about LGBT rights. I don't I don't yeah, I'm, I'm not a advocate for marijuana smoking. Uh, I don't like Justin Trudeau. I don't I'm not jumping on the bandwagon of hating Donald Trump. I don't particularly support him that much but I don't, I don't bash him either um i just you know i i don't go with the flow so you could say that i'm going against the current which makes things harder it would be easier for me to go with the flow but i don't want to do that that's not me that sets a bad precedence of what me is and uh what i want to do with my future but uh, they probably think I'm just going to fade away or burn out and that I'm going to run out of energy to, um, to um, continue making videos and continue pursuing my avenue of thinking. And they can't stand the way I think. It's not because I think wrong. It's because I think differently from them because we don't live in a culture of diversity. There is really only one way of thinking in this, in this whole world. Uh, well, in the whole of Canada anyway. And uh, if you don't agree with it, you become a pariah, you become the bad guy. And it doesn't matter if they're wrong or that they say they're all about diversity and free speech and being allowed to think whatever you want. That actually is not true. Um, they just disguise it by saying that they're pro this, they're pro that. And if you're against it, that means you're a bad guy and you're the fascist who wants to take control. No, that's what you're doing. You're simply saying that you're not and you're about free speech unless you're contradicted. Then, you know, it really... Voltaire had a quote. For those you... Uh, for. The people you cannot question are the ones who have po power over you. Essentially, that's what it meant. I forget the exact quote. But Voltaire was an interesting character through history anyway, so. Um, you know, uh, these strict rules. Uh, I'm so surprised that, you know, they're actually obeyed because, like... There are strict rules that I do not obey. Like, uh, they didn't want me to drink alcohol. And, speaking of which... Yeah, I'm gonna keep drinking alcohol. Um, yeah, I don't, didn't like their approach, didn't like their bullying and abuse, so fuck them, I'm gonna continue to drink alcohol. And they go, well, alcoholics are naturally bullies, so it's only fair that they be bullied. And we live in a society that thinks like that. 
And it's like, well, what if I don't bully people when I drink? Well, it doesn't matter. You have the potential to. So, because you think I have the potential to, this is, you think that. That gives you the right to preemptively bully me? Are you... Are you a bit touched? A little fucked up in the head? Um... Yeah, because, uh... I do start to think, you know, like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I might have solved some mysteries that other people didn't solve and weren't supposed to solve. Riddles that weren't supposed to be discovered. Um, but perhaps. But what I will not tolerate is in the future when people come around and bully me or ridicule my beliefs. Um, in order to make me forget or dull uh, my history of being abused by the mental health system. That's not what's going to happen. And like I said before, with uh, uh, physical stimuli, women can be very persuasive with their bodies in the sense of being able to control men. Uh, a lot of people know it's a, it's a sexual revolution. However, um, you cannot let some vagina control you. You can't. You'll never get what you want if you let that happen. Because they have their own interests, their own wants, and they contradict yours sometimes. It's not that you can't like women, because I do like women. Not all of them, but some of them I like. And... Um, you know, I don't really know any in my social circle. Uh, there's just no women around. There's never any women around. This is getting back to the free-flowing of, uh, of life and how things are supposed to happen by mere chance if for no other reason, but don't. And that's because of strict rules inhibiting that. That's how involuntary celibates are created. And then the image of what an involuntary celibate is is perpetuated by certain individuals, as that's a bad guy. He deserves that. Blah, 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 blah. And maybe some of them do, but not all of them do. Some of them, yes. Not all of them. And, uh, yeah, I, I can speak from an honest point of view that, you know, I do not deserve the curse of being an involuntary celibate. I don't deserve that. Um, however... I am cognizant that there are nasty people who oversee the management of my lifestyle. And I gotta tell you, um, whew, I'm gonna try and avoid that, that monster for a while, as long as I can anyway. <laughs> I just don't feel like being told what to do. Is it so hard to ask? I think I'm being a reasonable man. And, you know, uh, if I have to tell people to fuck off, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And I'll do it right from the start if I think it's only going to lead to a bad situation or things are only going to get worse. Like, they'll get more bossy, more controlling, uh, take away my rights, and try to tell me that I never had them in the first place or that I somehow deserve this particular situation. Excuse me, no. No. And, uh, you know, uh, that's something people are going to have to understand. Because uh, at this point in time, there's no way I'm putting up with more bullshit. I mean, there's a lot of stories out there. And, you know, although I had nothing to do with them, they um, somehow are trying to connect their stories to mine. So I, I can't say that, you know, um, that, you know, things haven't been happening that I don't know about because that would be a crock, a total crock of shit. And, um, you know, people go, it may not have anything to do with this particular individual as far as their point of view, but it may have happened because of the uh, perception of me from others. And what I mean by that 
is they may feel okay he's not responsible for that but it is because of him that it happened so he has to be punished for that and that is going into the realm of what the fuck what the fuck and I talked about negative cult of personalities before I talked about them and I said there's a lot of things that go on and you know it the world would be a far better place if there really was um, not a singular entity that controls things but uh, you know like chess pieces that everything moved accordingly that's not the way how it works that's not how power works it would definitely be better for patients of mental health if there was a certain way how the world worked where it wasn't mean and cruel and mean, and, and mean spirited however uh, there are too many different factions and uh, some of them are getting a leg up from others uh, in detriment to people like me you know, a white guy, a white guy, a white guy trying to go for power in this world. And they assume that I want that because I collect military that, oh, he must be striving for power. If only enough so I don't get bossed around by you assholes anymore. Please. Because you people are assholes. You want to throw me under the bus, bury me, and forget me that I ever existed. That's what you want to do. And you're going, well, he's got a lifespan. We'll just keep abusing him for as long as we want. And, um, you know, that to me says, uh, i got to look over my shoulder. Can't trust nobody. And I'm a pretty good judge of character. If someone's stupid, or if they're a bit smarter, but they're stupid in other ways, or if they're genuinely an intelligent person. And, you know, I know I'm stupid in some ways. I think I'm a little smarter than the plants that I've seen. Um, I've seen some really stupid ones. Um, however, um, I don't know, things remain to be seen. I mean, I have an optimistic view of things, but uh, obviously, you know, things aren't going exactly the way I'd like them to. As I keep complaining about my sore throat and things like that. So, uh, yeah, this is important stuff. And, you know, it's, it becomes one of those things that you always think about. And I try not to. They go, why don't you have a laugh? Why don't you, you know, forget about your troubles and, you know, just go out and have fun. I would like to do that, but my problems are still around me. They're still there. I haven't gotten rid of them yet. Because uh, ideally, you want to live as few problems and troubles as possible everyone wants that um however um, there's some people who look at me and are deeply offended and that could be if i say absolutely nothing do absolutely nothing simply my image is enough to infuriate them because the reality of this world is discrimination is alive and well and it's not simply white men uh, that is the mainstream narrative the truth is there are people who despise white men so badly and are not stupid but they're not as intelligent as they think and um, you know this is important stuff very very important stuff and very complicated to explain to people like I've already invested 35 minutes into this video and the thing is a lot of people have very short att attention spans but it takes a long goddamn time to explain things to people so I have to make long videos and this video I've made is a conversation piece that could go on for a week in other parties hell I've made videos where I talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger and he may have made a video that was five minutes long and I spend half an hour talking about that video and that's on my own. Obviously with other people being able to 
put their intellectual in, intellect in the conversation, um, yeah, that conversation could have gone on longer, simply over a six-minute video. But here I've got made a 35-minute video where I brought up some interesting points. Uh, I may be slightly wrong in some things, but the strict rules part, definitely accurate. Because the main piece of indirect evidence that I have is that life doesn't flow normally. It doesn't do it. I see that it doesn't do that. I've seen that for a long time. Don't be, don't be telling me my business. Um, that's not going to stop people from trying, but, uh, play ball. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll continue this conversation another night. Have a good one.